The idea for the business, you know, just a childhood dream. Always loved baking cakes. Um, and my dad is quite, you know, do what you want to do, follow your dream. So I think that's what I did. I've always baked with my mum, my nan, always loved it through school, just loved it, always loved it, and then always dreamt about a little cake shop. So I didn't go to college or uni, I did one year at sixth form, decided it wasn't really for me, and then I decided to take up an apprenticeship at Calcott Manor, and I was there for almost two years doing pastry. So that was all patisserie and pastry side. So it's all desserts for the restaurant and they have a pub up there as well. So any puddings that went out, it was all from me. I am qualified in pastry. I've got the MBQ level two. I use it quite a lot because you have that skill behind you knowing sort of what works and what doesn't work. Um, so I do use it a lot. I think it's helped me all the time. The business started, so about two years ago now, and my dad saw this shop in Wooten come up for rent and I've always said it would make an amazing cake shop. So it started there, and as soon as I got back off the plane, we went and viewed it. Best thing about running cake box, I think just being able to do whatever I want to do, having Danny by my side. Not as fun as it normally is. <laughs> like, I actually thought... Working together to come up with all these good ideas and, you know, just, yeah, making cake all day, it's great. Cakebox is based on like Instagram and Facebook. That's our main, where we get our main customers. Um, Wooten under edge where the edge is, most loyal customers are from there, ordering like repeat customs and stuff like that. And then obviously we love doing wedding cakes, so inspiration days, wedding fairs, we do them a lot when we can, and then obviously repeat customs from that as well. I think people know it's cake box if it's pink and flowery, like that's just <laughs> us all over. Anything with flowers, pink, it's always good. My favourite cake, I would say chocolate, all the way. Always eating chocolate trimmings, are we, Danny? Yeah. Um, but other than that, definitely cookies, um, milk chocolate, caramel, it's my favourite, all time. Well, what was the most extravagant cake? I don't know about that, like extravagant cakes. I think I'm quite a wuss when it comes to taking on crazy orders. Um, but anything like wedding cakes is always nerve wracking, so I think. That will always be the one for me when it comes to tall, like four tier cakes. I think that's probably my most extravagant. Best process of making a cake would be the final sort of icing stage. I love that and just seeing it like come together. Best part of brownie is probably cutting it, seeing the middle when it comes out. And then the worst part is probably, obviously, washing up. Long-term goals for Cakebox, I think, are to really push wedding cakes. I'm trying to get my name out there further afield and try and get more sort of customers from a long distance, getting into more wedding venues. The biggest disaster, I think, other than just spelling names wrong on cakes, which I've done a few times and had to change it last minute, the biggest disaster was when we were in the Wooden shop and I had had to pop next door to, I can't remember this time, I had to pop next door to do something, help them in the shop. And I left caramel on the hob, and um, <laughs> it literally went everywhere, smoked out the whole building, and um, Danny actually found it. And <laughs> I slipped you over, slipped. like, I was running through the shop because all I saw was smoke coming out of the shop. So I'm running as quick as I can, I slipped over all the caramel, it was so bad. All the, all the alarms were going off, there was smoke everywhere. Um, I think that's probably the biggest disaster we've had, <laughs> making a mess with karma. Yeah. Biggest lesson I've learned from running the own business is probably to just don't overthink things. Like, I always used to think that I couldn't do things or couldn't make a certain cake, but if you just do it, just practice makes perfect and you just got to, you know, trial and error, everything and it works anyone wanted to start their own business I would say do it like hands down the best thing I've ever done you can just you know follow your dreams and just see where it takes you each obstacle is just the best thing ever so Goose and Gander we've supported them from day one they've supported us from day one we used to be just down the road from them in Wotton um, we provide them cake every Friday they provide us with uniforms so it's a bit of a cake for cake for tea, aprons kind of situation. Amazing aprons, they do our tops, we always wear their cycling shorts every day because it gets so hot in this kitchen. Even when we're not working, we literally live in 
Goosling Garden to close all the time. 